captain of the Video Rangers. Operating from his secret mountain headquarters on the planet Earth, Captain Video rallies men of goodwill everywhere. As he rockets from planet to planet, let us follow the champion of justice, truth, and freedom throughout the universe. Captain Video. Yes, Ranger? Here's an urgent message from Commissioner Carey at Planet City. Looks important, sir. Yes, this is important. We blast off at once. <laughs> Captain Video and his assistant, the Video Ranger, who worked together as a well-knit team, landed their rocket ship, the Galaxy, at the spaceport in Planet City, where they hailed a copter cab and were whisked up to the 144th floor of the Public Safety Building. Commissioner Carey, Captain Video and the Ranger reporting, sir. And just in time, Captain. You've heard of Octavo? Octavo? One of the worst criminals of our times. But isn't he imprisoned on the moon? Exactly. But we are moving the penal colony from the moon to Jupiter. Octavo and his accomplice, Jeremy Finch, are too dangerous to be moved with the rest of the criminals on the regular prison ship, so I want you to take them on your own ship, the Galaxy. Those birds on the Galaxy? It is dangerous, but we'll do it. Okay, Ranger, let's go. Quickly, the Galaxy was loaded and fueled. This way, Octavo. Relax, we've a long way to go. I'm more than relaxed. Captain Video. You too, Finch. And no tricks. Tricks? <laughs> Look at me, nothing up my sleeve. Sit down, fool. As the captain said, we have a long way to go. Several hours out, beyond the orbit of the moon, Captain Video and the Ranger heard an ominous sound. Listen, something's wrong with the engines. Fuel isn't feeding. I wonder why. The rocket tubes are clogged. Cut the engine or the pressure will cause an explosion. Uh, now what do we do? We put on our space suits and go outside to clear them with space picks. I'm with you, sir, but what about Octavo and Finch? We'll lock the control cabin. That'll take care of them. As Captain Video and the Rangers stepped outside through the airlock. Finch, if we start the engine, those two will be thrown into space. Great idea, Octavo. But how do we get into the control cabin? It's locked. Video and the Ranger are using space picks out there. There are more space picks in here. We'll get one and break into the control cabin. In a matter of minutes, Octavo and Finch were in the control cabin. Octavo turned on the engines. With a roar, they started up. Outside on the hull of the galaxy, the vibration knocked over Captain Video and the Ranger. Captain Video grabbed the rocket tube just in time to keep from slipping off into space. But as for the Video Ranger... Ranger, where are you? You all right? Captain, help! I'm drifting away! They started up the engines, but I turned on the automatic cutoff when we left the ship. The galaxy won't move before they find the cutoff and turn it on again. But how do you reach me? I have a rope on my suit. You must catch it when I throw it out. All right, steady now. Here. The rope shot out from the galaxy. Three times the ranger missed. Then on the fourth, he caught it. I've got it, sir. Pull in. You're the biggest fish I ever caught. Easy. Just a couple of feet now. There. Oh, thanks, Captain Video. You really had me worried. Now let's get at those two jokers inside. Here's the airlock again. I'll open it. Greetings, gentlemen. Why, Captain Video, but I thought... There are other ways, Captain. Look out, Ranger, he's got a space pick. No, you don't. <coughs> All right, Octavo Finch, up against the wall. It was my idea. I'm on your side. Why aren't you slobbering fool? That's enough, both of you. Now, one more move on. What's that? It's one of the rockets, sir. Damaged by the pressure. They should never have started up the engines with the rocket tubes clogged. Check the engines, Ranger. Hey, dead, Captain. Then we're powerless. Drifting through space. You mean we'll never reach solid ground again? Only one way. If we drift close to a small planetoid, we can use our emergency rockets for brakes. For hours, the damaged rocket ship galaxy drifted through space, past the orbit of the planet Mars, and into the region of space known as the asteroid belt, halfway out to Jupiter. I've just sighted an asteroid, Captain Video. Well, let me see. Yes, the asteroid palace. An airless, rough world, Ranger. We'll have to make a crash landing. But we're going too fast, Captain. We time it right. The emergency rockets will cut our speed and cushion the landing. 
Get ready. The landing on the asteroid palace was bumpy, but successful. While the ranger guarded Octavo and Finch, Captain Video repaired the rocket tubes. Then suddenly... Ranger, we can blast off except for one thing. What's that, Captain? The engine needs repairs. We'll have to locate some copper. Let us help, Captain. We're all in the same boat. Octavo, I should put you and Finch in irons. But locating copper won't be easy. If you cooperate, I'll see to it that you're repaid when we land at Jupiter. They separated into two groups. Captain Video and the Ranger in one direction, Octavo and Finch in another. Captain, look, a vein of metal. Yes, yeah, copper, all right. I knew this asteroid had some. Well, let's start digging. But on another part of the asteroid... Now they're out of sight. Back to the ship, Finch. There still is enough power in the emergency rockets to blast off. Yeah, but how far will we get with the engine needing repairs? Far enough to call my men who will set us free. As for Captain Video and the Ranger, we'll leave them here, marooned forever. I guess that about does it, Ranger. We have enough copper now. Let's head back to the ship. Captain, look. Octavo and Finch, they're trying to get into the galaxy. That means they want to leave without us. Come on! Captain Video and the Ranger reached the criminals just as they forced the airlock open. No, you don't, Octavo. What? Maybe this will teach you to cooperate. Oh. He's out cold, Captain. Put them both in irons, Ranger. Then we repair the damaged engine and blast off for Jupiter. Commissioner Carey calling, sir. Go ahead, Commissioner. Captain Video, I've just read your report about Octavo and Finch. Good work, Captain. And my congratulations to the Ranger, too. It was a job well done, 